So I must, I must make this claim that God is unknown in these churches. Yes, God is unknown in these churches. And one of the reasons why I say that God is unknown in these churches because of the behavior. Church is not church like it used to be. Church is like a concert. Church is like a social gathering. Church, it, church is like a club. And I'm saying this, my friend, because what have gone on in the church, because an individual in the church, but I'm talking about a church building. The church building is not a house of prayer anymore. My friend, people go to church to look a man. People go to church to look a woman. And these are the wrong places, according to God, to find relationship. We should find relationship in God. We should find relationship in knowing who the God is. So I'm making this video today to tell people to the unknown God whom they worship. They're worshiping a God that's unknown. Even though, listen, my friend, listen. Are we listening? Even though people are reading the Bible. Hey, glory to God. They're reading the Bible from a carnal sense. Because if you can say that a Bible is full of contradiction, that means that, my friend, you're looking for, 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 for things in the Bible. Now, the Bible is a book that can change you. The Bible is a book that can connect you. The Bible is a book you can have conversation with God. A book is a book that gives you character. And a book is not a book to control you. If you say the Bible is controlling you, my friend, you're reading the wrong Bible. Because if the Bible says, hey, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who shall believe him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That don't sound like a book of control to me. If, if the Bible is saying, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are, are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Now it's, like a, now it's like a book that controls you. So people are worshiping an unknown God. And the reason why God is unknown to you, because David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. If you taste him, you will recognize he's, he's unknown. And the reason why he's unknown, because you're not searching the scripture. Jesus Christ told, told the Jews, he goes, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciple, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, Jesus Christ told them, hallelujah, uh, search the scripture, in it you think you have eternal life, for they that testify about me. So there are a lot of people that are serving an unknown God. Anytime, listen, listen, are you listening? Anytime you worship Buddha, anytime you worship Hindu, Anytime you, you are a Satanist, anytime you're part of Seven Day Ventures, you're worshiping an unknown God. And let me stop right, let me put, a right, put a pin right here. Because the reason why I'm not a Seven Day Ventures anymore, because people worship Helen G. White. Helen G. White was a Mason. She got buried under, a glory to God, a, a monument. She was a 33 degree Mason. And people are worshiping an unknown God. If God is unknown to you, you worship many gods. People don't know the difference between G-O-D lowercase and, and capital G-O-D. Capital G-O-D mean, mean the, 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 al the almighty God. And lower G-O-D mean man. He go to God on material things. So people are worshiping an unknown God. I'm going to tell you the reason why God is unknown. Because when people wake up, they don't pray. Amen. When people worship, when people wake up, they don't find the presence of God. When people wake up, they, they don't praise God. Hey, glory to God. When people, work, when people wake up, they complain. When people wake up, my friend, they, they eat everything but eating the word of God. So people are worshiping an unknown God. When the last time you pray? When the last time you study the depth of the word of God? When the last time you witness about the goodness of Jesus? The Bible says, he that wins soul is wise. Look what's going on in the church. Hallelujah. If you can think the church is a club, you're worshiping unknown God. 
If you are still continually in your sin, habitually, you're worshiping an unknown God. I know Paul say, hallelujah, in me is not me, in me is sin. And Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? There are a lot of people that are worshiping an unknown God. If God, the re, I'm going to tell you the reason why God is unknown to people. Because if you don't apply the word of God to your life, the word of God become just a piece of paper you read and that's it. But if you apply the word of God to your life and the word of God changes you, you're worshiping a known God. Look at marriage. It's another thing. Marriage become a laughing stock. People think, my cousins say that marriage is like a piece of paper. <laughs> you know why? Because she worshiped an unknown God. Anytime you worship an unknown God, you can be married so many times with no conviction. Anytime you sin with no conviction, that means that you're worshiping an unknown God. God wants his people to be holy. God wants us to, the Bible say, hallelujah, take me to the rock that's higher than me. Amen. We as being people of God, we have to live the life. We are a living epistle. So if nobody read the Bible, they ought to read our life. Because we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. Amen. And if the salt have lost its savior, it's good for nothing but to be trodden on the feet of men. So I'm telling you. People are worshiping an unknown God. Anytime, my friend, you, you, you have a homosexuality. Hey Amen. You are holding hands in church. You are kissing in church. I'm talking about two women kissing in church. Two men holding hands in church. And you feel no, con no conviction? And the reason why they feel no conviction, because the Bible says the, the conscience may sear with an iron. If you've been married five times and feel no convict, no con, no, no uh, conviction, that means that you're serving an unknown God. God is too wise, is too big to be unknown. Now, in the book of uh, hey, in the book of uh, uh, Acts, the seventeenth chapter. I mean, the book of Acts, the 17th chapter, and look, look what uh, 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 Paul was saying. Paul was saying, he go to he went to Athens. And while he was in Athens, listen what Paul said. Paul said, hallelujah, glory to God. Let's talk about, Paul said, uh, in verse 17, 21, for all the Athenians and stranger which were there spent their time in nothing else but either tell or to hear some new things. Then Paul stood in the midst of my hills and said, He men of Athens, I perceive, I understand that in all things you are too superstitious. For I passed by and beheld your devotion. I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God whom therefore you eagerly worship him I declare unto you. Verse 24, God that made the earth and all things therein, seeing that he's Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So God not dwelling in bricks and mortar. He dwelling in the human body. That's what I was saying. Present yourself and live in sacrifice, holy to God, which is a real servant, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Verse 25. Neither is worship with many hands, as though he... He need anything, seeing he have given to all life and breath and all things. Amen. Verse 26. And have made a one blood all nation to dwell on all the face of the earth and have determined the time before appointed and have bound of their habitation that they should think that they shall seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and have a being as certain also of your own point have said, for we are the also his offspring. 
verse 29, to the unknown God, we're, we're, we're as much then as we, we are the offspring of God, we are not to think the Godhead is like a, the gold or silver or stone or by art of men divide. What is What do he say? Paul was saying, y'all Buddhists and Hinduists, y'all worshiping an unknown God. Amen. Verse 30. And the time of his ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Because he have appointed a day in which he have judged the world in righteousness, and by that man whom he have ordained, wherefore he have given assurance unto all men in that he have raised him from the dead. And when they heard the resurrection of the dead, some mocked and others said, We will hear thee again of this matter. What I'm saying to you, my friend, people that are worshiping an unknown God, look on TikTok. TikTok people have so many doctrines. Amen. They have so many argumentation. They are so debatable. They are so much fussing and fighting. You know why? Because they are serving an unknown God. If everybody be filled with the Holy Ghost, the Bible said when you have the Holy Ghost, it will lead you and guide you into all truth. The Holy Ghost, my friend, is the anointing that any man teach you. And it will say any man mean your flesh fleshly teaching if you if you know god we will be love more if we know god will be less divorce or no divorce in the body of christ the reason why there's from a divorce because people don't know god when you know god we learn to love one another the bible say by this shall all men know that you are my disciple if you have love one toward another if we know God will be so stingy, if we know God, my friend, we will steal in people's spouse. If we